about 50, 75 yards out, but he's just not willing to commit. I would like to have a little bit of movement on my on my Jake decoy. So I come up with this decoy cord here and I put it on two old fishing spools. I can get my Jake to move left and right by pulling each line separately. I can get him to go back and forth. And a lot of times that's just um, a little bit of movement that it takes the um, gobbler to commit to come in. I'm Mike Egberg and that's your Midwest Outdoors tip. At the Lake Tomahawk Meat Market, we've been using a, a mix of maple, oak, and birch for over 30 years. Uh, we really like the flavor it gives the meat. There's plenty to be found out there in the woods. Um, it gives us the flavor that we're looking for. We add a little water to it before we put it on our, on our hot plate just to keep it from burning and experiment with it. I think you'll like it. This is Todd from the Lake Tomahawk Meat Market and another tip from Midwest Outdoors. I've been having some uh, challenges with the crossing target as it comes across like this. There's a break point where you're gonna pull the trigger. There's a pick up point right here where I'm gonna focus on it and then I'm gonna actually pick it up with my eyes over here. So you got eyes, gun, fire. And uh, Rod was helping me try to get that down a little bit better. So on, on your completion of the shot, I want you to shoot a hole right in the center of this target. So as that target's coming across here, don't be here, don't be here, don't be here, don't be here, right there, right in the middle of That's it. That's what I want to do too. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to put you in charge. We got a trip. common goal. I'm going to put you in charge. Ho! Oh. Nicely struck. Thank you. This is Trip Banks, and that's another tip for Midwest Outdoors.